take home the text. Why bother? Um, thank you very much for having me today. Thank you, Stephen, and for organising this evening. Um, like every other love letter since the dawn of etc., it is not at all important, but I think you should know that once upon a time, if that's how you begin the stories nowadays, there was a book written by an author that was translated as The Bill, and it was published in 2013 um, in America, and available in English translation by Silk Editions. Um, and it was by an author you may recognise. And it described how a narrator, over the course of 14 pages, and one sentence, um, would be able to be examining the work of Carmen Vecchio in the 15th century, 14th century, 15th century, um, Venice-based artist. And the narrator is going along this gallery, looking at the paintings, looking at the idea of a sitter, sitting as you might, and a gazer, gazing as you might, at me and me at you. And as I say, like every other love letter since the dawn of etc., I suppose I will always think of Hungary as a beautiful green room. I will also think of a woman being above me, and maybe it's a man with some kind of strange posture, a posture that I wish I could have. And I also will think of Hungary and think of a frieze above a beautiful marble fireplace. I will think about the fireplace and a beautiful golden mirror behind me. I also think of a lovely carpet that lots of sitters are sitting on. I would take a moment now if I was sitting to look at that carpet upon which my chairs are now seated. And I do not type well and in fact for example only today I noticed that a once important page that I typed now incorrectly bears the title list of famous people who owned child dogs rather than owned them. And it is not crucial, but perhaps you'd like to learn that Freud's favourite chow dog ate one of its own puppies, and Michael Field, the florid poet, quantum aunt, held a wake for their chow dog on a dais with a garland made of iris crowns, while photographs of Georgia O'Keeffe, the artist's pair of chow dogs, shows them scuffling and staring at pebbles through a window. O'Keeffe, O'Keeffe is the sound of paws, perhaps, in the mistaken dust. And through my window, the air is still. And still it is air, despite all the dogs and what they are owed. And although I am wanting more than I can know, and I want sometimes more than Hungary, but I only want Hungary, this lovely green room, and I know more than I can have, suddenly I find that I am suddenly seriously considering taking up smoking and coffee and metalwork on account of the apron and the possibility of new arms. And now, look, I've started using words like suddenly and seriously to get the idea across to you as quickly as possible, and they will be faster still in italics. You can tell on the page that they are in italics. Seaters and sitters can't seriously, suddenly, as if time is of the essence. And I might do anything, honestly. I could be a very dangerous, dangerous type of person. I might add olive oil to ice cream even and become that kind of dangerous person. And there's a sudden gladness, as sweet hullabaloo of understanding. For example, a gargoyle falling in love with this pigeon. The words remit and permit just sounds like frogs craving their carving untraped waywardiness. According to my phone's autocorrect, many ferrets are used to not clean but salam the large hadron collider and wow, oh wow, idiots have been attempting couplets for as long as they've been pairing without an eye, apples with perfect scansion, holding patterns of speech, coming porcupinal are taught attempts at sweetness, words like grist, champ, pomp. This is not typical, oh God, I want to say to the sitters, it may as well be raining beef. Don't look so daunted, the, say, the day seems to say outside the Hungarian window. You have surely heard of my theatricals, the impressions of teeth and other chaotic folios. And if I could make you laugh, I might say I might have probably won the sun back, and tomorrow I might be tall again, just as the valley cannot hold out for the faithfulness of its glaciers or glaciers, and this part of me would not fit in your ear. More's the pity, I would say, to a sitter or an author we all know. How's that for social choreography? But I want to be clear, and this is written in parentheses, you could see if you weren't sitting down there. If only once in parentheses, you are unmissable, you are clementines or clementines in November, and time's tiny indiscretions, the smallness of time's compass, cannot touch my celebration of your being here. The skin of your, by the skin of your right here, index in the page of you, pulped, pumped, pulse of it, laying out, the awful necessity of drinking coffee, raucous, for example, the make-believe of talking back to trees. I have been spelling things the American way for months just to seem like I'm well-traveled, counting down the evening's bestiaries, 
your beastliness. Wow, oh wow, but back to the dogs. I hope you might sense here my delight, but really my hope is that you might read this someday. Put your papers down wherever you like, wherever you're sitting, of course, wherever you like, wherever you're sitting, and wherever you and your papers might be, you might think to fold the corner of your page because you owe it the reminder and remainder of its own sense of time and place. And then you, or the idea of you, plural, might join me singular in something like the thought of a garden that we share, a garden that is big enough for the idea of a dog or a smithy, I don't know, with an olive tree or a porch balanced on bricks, and I could have thought to plant irises in time during the late summer, break off seed pods that form after the blooms have faded, make dividing a habit, and you might raise a glass of something and say, here's to more errors of good owing and more mistaken mafias of dogs lolling their heads, and you might look behind my head and see above my head on a green ribbon running around the room, some kind of cow's head with ribbons of it, and I think that's delightful, and getting on infamously, lionly rather than leonine on account of the silliness of the mid-afternoon sun the colour of warmth and idling as we, you and I and the dogs, pant and eat our favourites and we think nothing of it, bringing something along the flowers down around our fat-headedness and be as full of errors as we can bear. And we stay for this moment where the idea of you, plural, sitting with me, plural, is something possible, shared, sufficient, real, unpenned and a distinct improvement. Thank you. Mm -hmm.